I am never going to live my life the same anymore. I'm a changed man. Today is November 13th, 2023, and for the next seven days, I'm gonna be living what many people believe to be the perfect life. But what actually is the perfect life? I've spent the last few months of my life reviewing countless articles, podcasts, and videos from many of the most prestigious scientists in the industry, such as Andrew Huberman, Dr. Susanna Soberg, and Matthew Walker, to get the most well-versed, unbiased routine for myself to follow. My routine is going to be broken up into three strict sections. Section 1, aka the morning, will begin with waking up between 7.30 and 8 a.m. every day. I will then complete about 10 minutes of meditation. I will then drink 8 to 16 ounces of cold water with a teaspoon of salt. Ugh. Then I will do 10 minutes of sun exposure within one hour of being awake. I will do a quick bout of exercise anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes. Right after that bout of exercise is when I will gain access to my phone for the first time. Then we'll jump into the first work block of the day, which is a 60 minute work block. We then end section one off with the infamous cold exposure. Section number two middle of the day. To start this section off, we get to have our first meal of the day. During these seven days, I can have no processed foods or seed oils. Other than that, it's free game. Then we get into the main working section of the day, doing 60 to 90 minute work sessions and standing up and walking around between each of them for about 10 minutes. Around this time, I will also take my supplements for the day. I'll be taking fish oil, a multivitamin, as well as ashwagandha. And then we jump into our main lifting workout of the day. And finally, section three, sleep. To start this off, we have to prepare our room for sleep. The two key points we need to focus on are making sure our environment is cold as well as dark. Holy frick, it's dark. I will then take my nighttime supplements for the day, which is 400 milligrams of magnesium, which I will take about 30 minutes before bed. During the entire section three and for about two to three hours before sleeping, I will be wearing blue light blockers and doing my best to avoid bright lights or any blue light coming into my eyes from any devices. For sleep itself, I am making sure that I am using a weighted blanket and then finally making sure I get eight hours of sleep every single night. Good morning. <laughs> it's day one. I am tired bro but it's going to be a splendid day nonetheless. Oh frick me. All right, let's take a look at my sleep for last night. Honestly, I feel pretty freaking sleepy. I don't know how well I slept, but hopefully it's good. I have no idea, bro. Oh, horrible. Oh, uh, uh, kinda. Readiness of 68, which is pretty bad for me. So I'm hoping during this challenge, my sleep does increase at least a little bit. Uh, my sleep score as a whole was pretty good, 81. I'll take that. My resting heart rate was higher than normal. So as you can tell, I'm not recovering well, so I definitely need this challenge. Oh, dude, that literally always feels so good when you're done. I feel splendid. I literally feel amazing, bro. You feel like, I don't know, you just feel good. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to say the same after this next part. So I'm supposed to drink about a teaspoon of salt water. I'm not gonna measure. If anything, I'm probably gonna add too much. This feels so wrong. This literally feels wrong. It smells normal. That's horrid. That is horrid. Oh, I just gotta chug it, bro. Ah. All right, you ready? <laughs> oh. oh my God. Gosh, that feels so freaking wrong. That definitely feels like something you should spit, not swallow, if you know what I'm saying. By the way, if you guys don't have a dark sense of humor, then it's probably best you don't subscribe. But if you're like me and you do got a dark sense of humor, I think me and you are gonna get along just fine. So you should subscribe. Oh, 
It's cold. Now that I got the salty shot of liquid in my mouth, now I have to sit out here. There's a breeze coming along and it is horrid. I get to stand out here for the next 10 minutes. Hopefully I survive. I don't know if I'm supposed to wear a hoodie. I don't think I'm supposed to wear like any clothing. Don't worry, I do have pants on. Let's enjoy. Oh my gosh, I am cold. It is freezing, bro. It's freezing. How cold is it? 47 degrees. It feels a lot colder than that though. So for my workout normally, I think I'm just going to do like a walk. That way I could double my sun exposure and workout all in one. Freaking genius maneuver. But today I got a little more time on my hands. So I think I'm just going to do like a little boxing workout. And it's a little warm in here. So I feel a lot better about that. With that being said, let's cue the montage. So that I can listen to the music I want to listen to while I work out without being copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I found this little space heater. Oh, dude, this thing is splendid. Next up. Funny enough, we are right back where we started the day, basically, at my desk. So, got access to the phone again. Splendid news. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet. If my computer will turn on, what the freak, bro? I'll figure that out. I'm gonna do some work. I only got a 60 minute period, so I can't get into too crazy of a project, but I'm gonna whip something out real quick. Cold shower, bro. I've been doing this for the past like year probably now. It still freaking sucks. But you gotta do what you gotta do when you are living a perfect life. You know what I'm saying? Come lock in. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right, for the first meal of the day today, I'm thinking eggs. I really don't like eggs too much, but it's like hit or miss, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna do eggs and bread, but we do not have bread. So I'm stuck with just eggs today. It'll have to do. Um, so my milk expired on the 5th of November. Today is the 16th of November. I'm really tempted to just use it because it smells normal. But it would suck if I got sick from rotten milk, you know what I'm saying? Hmm, I'm doing it. No turning back now. All right, let me give you guys a little life hack real quick. Instead of cooking your eggs with oil, like some people do, like canola oil or vegetable oil, oil is very bad for you. It makes you feel like absolute trash. So you want to try and avoid as much oil as possible in your diet. So this spreadable butter that a lot of people use to cook their eggs also has oil in it. That's what makes it spreadable. So if you can, try to avoid that spreadable butter and use actual sticks of butter because it doesn't have that oil. Plus, I feel like these just taste a whole lot better anyway. So a little cheat code with Carson, baby. Bon appetit. Let's give her the Carson review, baby. Since I'm basically a food reviewer now, if you haven't seen my last video. Let's hope this does not kill me. Ah, There's a meal right here, boy. Mmm. Mm. So normally I will be doing my workout later in the day, but today I don't have to go in for work. So my schedule is a little bit twisted around and we're doing my workout earlier in the schedule because normally I work out at night. But we got a nice leg day ahead of ourselves today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this workout in, baby. I got dreams, I'ma chase I'm a nicotine in my face. Yeah. What you need, I'ma get everything yeah. on my plate. On Put my the plate. green in the safe yeah. for the team, I'ma play. Okay. On the scene, I the scene, every scene. Yeah. Mean what I say, yeah. I'ma fiend for the cake. For the, for the cake. cream, I'ma get what I need. Whoa, but hey, late day complete, ladies and gentlemen. I am nauseous. Freezing at the same time, so I can't take off my jacket. But oh, we're done, we made it out alive. Thank goodness. Everything on my plate. Put the green in the safe for the team. I'm a play on the scene. I just see every scene. So I'm kind of just taking the stroll around because I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be walking to. I think it's just walking in general. I think normally I'm gonna do it outside, but right now it is freezing and I really do not want to go out there too much. So inside it is for me. I'm just kind of taking a little lap around my house, gonna fill up my water bottle, get ready for the next 60 minute work period. But I also heard something that I'm not really talking about in this video 
video is every 20 minutes that you're working at your desk, you wanna stand up and look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. It's called the 20-20-20 rule. So this is kind of a good period for me to sit down and actually do that. So this is really used for your eye health and making sure that your vision altogether is very healthy. Um, so that's something I've kind of been trying to focus on more recently. It's hard to break out of that like work mode you get in, but I definitely don't wanna go blind. 20-20-20 rule, remember that. Hey, <laughs> who remembers this little container right here, huh? I got one. It's in my cup. Get in there, Marcus. Oh, free! My mom adopted it, and now it is being used as a decoration. The memories. Yeah, buddy. It is that time of the day to take our vitamins, and actually, it's getting dark outside. Sun is just setting, so it's time we throw on the blue light blockers. These are not the prettiest thing in the world, but they do their job. So our vitamins for the day, we got a multivitamin, which they're actually quite delicious. I like these, this is my favorite part of the day. We take an ashwagandha gummy, which is also freaking delicious, and then fish oil. That's all for this time of day. We take a little bit more later to actually help us out with sleep. Why am I talking in the third person? It's already that time of the night somehow where I have to start winding down for bed. So to avoid these bright overhead lights, I have these beautiful wall mounted lights. I have them turned all the way up so you can actually see. Normally you want them a little bit lower, but to prepare our room for sleep, there are two main key things that we need to do. The first First one is the temperature. Your body actually has to drop two to three degrees in temperature to enable you to fall asleep. So thermostat is at a very low temperature. Now, next up, we have to prepare by darkening the room. So every single little light in your room needs to be covered, apparently. I'm eating Pop-Tarts. <laughs> I have some electric, oh, electrical tape. So I got some electrical tape. I'm going to literally patch every single little light in my room until it is pitch black. Holy frick, it's dark. You can't see anywhere where I'm pointing. So that light, that, oh my gosh, there's a lot of lights in here. Holy, oh, uh, okay. All right, we're going up. We going up. Hopefully I can reach. Oh gosh dang it. This is the tallest thing I could find that was relatively light. That's my boy. Oh yeah. Oh frick, I press up. <laughs> well, I'm deaf now. We gotta reassess. Do not blast my eardrums. There we go. Oh. And just like that, I would say we are pretty well blacked out. This is a little scary. Next up, I'm taking the last of my vitamins for the night, magnesium. Magnesium, I don't know what it does exactly. I can't think where it's crap. It just helps you sleep a lot better. So I'm taking 400 milligrams, milligrams, holy crap, I'm tired of magnesium, about 30 or so minutes before bed. Delicious. And then last up on the agenda for the day, the last few items needed for a perfect night's sleep. Number one is a weighted blanket. Fantastic, I actually love that. I've had that for a while, it is magnificent. If you don't have one already, I highly recommend. Next, and probably my least favorite thing of this entire freaking challenge is no blue light now. Now I cannot go on my phone, other than filming obviously. No TV, which is so unfortunate. I love watching YouTube at night, very unfortunate. I'm not excited about that one bit. And finally, I need eight hours of sleep every single night without fail. That is a very, very big one. Eight hours of sleep. <sighs> All right, that's day one of seven complete. I will see you in the morning. I woke up today and I actually feel pretty freaking fantastic. Normally, I am not a morning person. I just woke up literally five minutes ago and somehow I am functioning. I feel pretty good. I don't know if it's placebo or what it is, but so far, it's just pretty dang fantastic. I will not lie. I am ready for a splendid day. And a splendid day I had indeed. But let's fast forward. Workout for the day. It is a nighttime workout today, so I'm not supposed to be getting any blue light in my eyes. But hey, function over, function over fashion all day, baby. That's all we care about. Everyone keep that in mind throughout your day-to-day -day life. But we got a chest day, so it's a good day. Let's get it. It's been so much going on that I've been losing my focus But I'm always keeping balance, so I'm probably smoking And the hustle with my folks is what I'm using Bro, because of my freaking foot injury, I can't do regular push-ups. I can't bend my toe whatsoever still. 
it's been, how many weeks has it been? Like three weeks now? So I have to do like elevated TRX push-ups. It makes it a million times harder. It's kind of nice though, I won't lie. I might have to continue doing that. So things have been going pretty well so far and I've been getting into a nice little routine. But will this trend continue? Holy balls, it is freaking coming down. It is freezing. <laughs> this, this is depressing. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not gonna talk about day seven, but <sighs> seven days, ladies and gentlemen, I survived somehow. <laughs> I have no idea. So I feel quite fantastic, to be honest with you. I have hardly any brain fog, which I normally have a ton of. My sleep has been a lot better. I've had a lot more energy, everything along those lines. Now, here's the problem with that. A lot of it could be placebo. I could be making all of this up and it could not be doing crap for me. So to prevent that from being the only thing we're going off of, I've been tracking my sleep for the past two months with an aura ring to see if over these last seven days, if I've actually been getting better sleep, which is gonna lead to all of these other effects that I might be feeling. Over these last seven days, I've seen an 8% increase in my deep sleep. I've seen a 4% increase in my REM sleep, and I have seen a 12% increase in my light sleep. Now. Here's the only problem. A lot of these numbers could be a little bit weighed and skewed because I've been getting more sleep overall. So there's one more thing I'm gonna be basing all of this off of my sleep efficiency, which is essentially just the amount of time that you're in bed trying to fall asleep, how long of that period you're actually asleep, and it's a percentage. Over the last two months of me tracking, I've had an average sleep efficiency of 93%, which is all right. But over these last seven days, I have had an average sleep efficiency of 96%. So 96% of the time I'm in bed, I'm asleep. It's pretty freaking good, bro, I will not lie. So I guess that just proves our point. It's not placebo after all. I feel great, bro. I think I could go run a freaking marathon right now. I'm just kidding, I've already tried that. I'm never gonna do that again. <laughs> but it's pretty dope, I won't lie. I don't think I'm ever gonna go back. Never.